Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to share how to lock first person in Roblox Studio so you'll be stuck in first person when you're playing your Roblox game. Now, you want to go ahead and go to the view section up top in the game and you want to make sure the explore and property tabs are open because you're going to need those to do this. Now, after doing that, you want to go ahead and go to the starter player section and you want to go ahead and open that up, but you want to go ahead and select starter player and in properties, you want to go ahead and go down to the camera section, okay? And from there, you're going to see the option for camera mode. It's usually going to be set to classic. You want to go ahead and change that to lock first person, okay? After that, you can go ahead and play test the game. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and play the game. And as you can see here, I am stuck in first person, which it looks pretty cool. And this is usually preferred when you're making horror games on Roblox. So if you are making a scary or horror Roblox game, this is usually preferred to be in first person mode to make it more scary and make it more interesting and all that stuff. So, but as you can see, you can't see your body, but if you want to see your body while in first person, you want to go ahead and insert a local script in the starter character scripts. Okay. And go ahead and just add that. You want to go ahead and rename this first person. Okay. And this way we're going to go ahead and see our lower body when we're playing in first person in game. You want to go ahead and paste in the script. It'll be a pinned comment below by me. You can go ahead and copy that script and paste it in there. After that, you want to go ahead and play test the game again. And as you can see, we can see our lower body now. I can see my legs, torso, and arms, which I think it looks kind of nice, but it's really up to you if you want to add that or not, which sometimes I feel like it's not needed. Sometimes this is annoying because like I'm jumping and stuff. I can kind of see my arms and they're kind of in the way a little bit. But besides that, it's pretty useful. And a lot of games do have first person like this where you can see the lower body too. So it is pretty helpful and it looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to show you what this looks like with some items first off with the flashlight which this looks really awesome like i said first person is preferred for horror games and just seeing yourself hold the flashlights just adds on to the experience of the game now you can also have a slingshot which i i just chose as a random item to show you but anyways you can just shoot balls and be a complete jerk to people just shoot them with the slingshot you know you do whatever you want with that but anyways and i also have a laser gun okay and now this doesn't look as good it's because of being in first person but it does come right out of the laser gun and shoot in whatever direction you pick so so basically it just shoots the laser wherever the cursor is pointing in the middle of the screen here so it's basically like the the aim but anyways yeah that's how you lock first person in roblox studio i hope you guys found this video extremely helpful if you did make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button i hope you really found this helpful and make sure to go ahead and just copy that script in the pinned comment below and paste it into the local script and if you want to learn how to change the lock speed in roblox studio so you can change the speed to whatever you want you can make it way faster you can make yourself slower whatever you want to do for any character while playing your roblox game go ahead and watch that video It'll be linked in the description below and it's showing up on the screen right now.